Paranormal experiences can come in many forms, from EVP evidence to objects moving on their own. These are just some of the things that many people studying the paranormal always look for when doing any sort of investigation. Though, while these pieces of evidence are great, the one thing a paranormal investigator always hopes to find is footage of an actual apparition. These are five ghost apparitions caught on video. Number five, Shadow in the Basement. In December of 2016, a man by the name of Jesse had been experiencing strange noises coming from his basement for a few months, sounding like someone walking up and down the steps. At first, he and his wife wrote it off as their cats since the litter box was in the basement. This particular night, however, when he heard the noises, all the cats were in their daughter's room, but the noises were still happening. In order to prove to his wife that something was happening, he decided to grab his camera and get footage of the occurrence to prove he wasn't imagining things, though he wasn't prepared for what happened next. Here, so anyways, I'm just going, you hear, it sounded like someone walking up down the steps, but anyways, I'm going down and I'm decided to videotape it to have proof for my wife. She doesn't believe me. All right, here we go. Hello, I know I hear you down here. I know I heard you. Holy fuck. Oh my dude. I just saw it. Holy shit, man. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Dude, I swear to gosh. I just heard it. Holy fuck. There's nothing down here. There's nothing down here. What the fuck is going on, man? There as you can see, as he yells down the stairs, some sort of dark figure appears to peek around the corner, startling Jesse. He decides to give chase, but when he gets down to the basement, nobody is there. There's nothing down here. There's nothing down here. After this experience, he and his family decided to move out of the house and thought that things would have been a lot better afterwards. At first, things seemed to be fine, but after a few months, strange things started happening again. On one particular night, the activity was ramping up, so Jesse decided to get his camera to try to document it. Just in our new house, uh, I moved, and tonight, by just stuff is happening, my dog is acting nuts, and by just stuff is happening, my dog is acting nuts, and the whole house kind of just has been getting crazy. I remodeled, um, remodeled kitchen, um, did everything, our kitchen, um, did everything. As he's talking about the occurrences, he is fortunate or unfortunate, depending on how you look at it, to capture some poltergeist type activity. So do you think the family itself could be haunted or do they just have bad luck with house shopping? I know I heard you. Holy f Oh my f dude! Number four, Subway Ghost. The London Underground Railway is the oldest subway system in the world. With that comes a pretty long history, including its use for shelter during the air raids of World War II. With such an extensive history, there are lots of stories and claims of paranormal activity associated with the various lines of the system of which I may make a video about more extensively sometime down the road. Though, back in 2014, a video surfaced of the Knightsbridge Station part of the rail system that shows something pretty strange. No one see what. It happens very quick that if you blink, you might miss it. As the camera turns to the right down the tunnel, a ghostly apparition appears to be jumping under the tracks. Could this be a residual haunting of someone ending their life? I would love to get your opinions on this one. Number 3. Moore Park Apparition This next piece of footage is from an old documentary and one of the oldest instances of an apparition caught on film. Back in 1988, staff at the Granada Hills Hospital began experiencing strange occurrences such as ghostly figures, things moving, and even clipboards being tugged from nurses' hands in the hospice wing. 
A man by the name of Andy McElroy was a patient at the hospital when he began experiencing some of these happenings and decided to contact his friend Daniel Hobbit, who was an independent cameraman and paranormal researcher. Daniel had caught some pretty incredible footage for the time at a local property months earlier of a shadow mass forming and jumped at the chance to try to document the strange claims at the hospital. So one day he got permission to leave his camera in the supply closet where things had moved on their own before. Upon review, he discovered something that blew his mind. During the time the camera was alone in the dark closet, something began to form on the footage. That suddenly, without warning, turned into a human face. Dan said, oh my god, look at this. Either I'm crazy or that's a face. It, it was a, a face that seemed to come out of nowhere. Uh, it started off on a, as a little ball of light and materialized. You see the face clearly. This has been enhanced, color dropped out. You'll see how the image fades away, and then very slowly but surely it starts to reappear, but not everywhere at once. It starts to appear here at the head, goes away again, comes back, and then you can actually see the torso appear down here. It's pretty strange, and it almost looks to see pretty much a very fuzzy but very normally distributed human face. And in one frame, it goes to something that looks much more appearance-wise like some kind of monster or, or skull with these big round roundish dark orbits to the eyes the nose actually appears to be shorter there seems to be some kind of frown in here and a mouth here the cheekbone shape has even changed and if you notice that the jowls have diminished and you're just starting to see down here the hint of some kind of body now I'm gonna go back to the, the previous frame again and you'll see I mean it's like it's it's, it's almost as though it's too different. What appeared to be the face of a man could be clearly seen when there was nobody there. What makes this even more interesting is that it was recorded in 1988, years before consumer software like Photoshop even existed. That and the footage was directly on the film. Number 2. SX Ghost In February of 2019, a man named Rob Wakefield was visiting Essex, England, a small village located near the Stansted Airport. He was recording video as he was walking the trail by a river and train tracks when he caught something pretty strange. Locals think that this could be an apparition of a man that was struck down by a train years prior when he decided to take a shortcut across the tracks on his way home. Apparently, a train conductor reported a collision, but no body could be found afterward. Some people theorize he could have been knocked into the river and then drifted away from the scene, though some other people think that the person that the train conductor thought he hit was the same apparition, and that's why no evidence of the accident could be found. So what do you think Rob recorded that day? Could it be the apparition of someone whose life was ended on that path? Or could it just be mist that was mistaken for something paranormal? I'd love to hear what you guys think. Before we get to number one, I'd just like to take a moment and ask, if you're enjoying the video, that you please give it a like. And if you would like to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified the next time I upload. You can also follow me on Twitter at 2 spooky for you 5 Also, if you would like to support the channel directly, consider donating to us on Patreon at 2 spooky for you yt All donations go to helping the channel grow and get better, and there are some stretch goals that, if reached, will help fund a documentary on a local legend known as Raymire's Hollow. Thank you for your support. Number 1. Forest Figure in July of 2017, Czech YouTube channel TV Twix uploaded a video where a group of friends were exploring and investigating a forest in the Czech Republic at night. After hanging out in the forest for a while, they decided to wrap things up and do the outro part for the video when one of them seems a bit uneasy, constantly checking behind them almost as if he can sense something watching them. After a bit, his feelings are justified as he spots something down the trail behind them moving into the forest. I'll show you the 
s tím, že tenhle ten duch, který se pak na ní nalepil, byl zlej, nebyl to jeden z těch dobrých, takže pak jako by bylo to dost fatální. S tím, že myslím, že jeden ten kluk se dokonce kvůli tomu zabil. A... Kamo, 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 já jsem to taky slyšel. Co tam bylo? Co tam bylo? Co tam bylo? Zdravím, kamo, kamo, kamo. You can make out a dark figure moving from left to right into the tree line. It moves almost like it's just floating into the trees. Needless to say, the group decides to get the hell out of there after spotting what was stalking them. And to be perfectly honest, if I had seen something like that in the woods behind me, I would have been out of there too. And there you have it. Five ghostly apparitions caught on video. What did you think of these clips? Were these evidence that ghosts may reside among us? Or could some of these have been hoaxes? I would love to know your thoughts. Also, be sure to check out some of our other videos, such as our last video, Top 5 Strange Things Filmed in Tunnels, and Top 5 Unexplained Bigfoot Sightings. And as always, stay spooky. I'll catch you all later. Part of the way in, they are interrupted by something truly chilling. Walking around, you can hear them talking to one another when they spot something in the brush.